Well, Josh, it's deja vu all over again, right? These are the same signs we saw in 2010, the same signs we saw in 2012. So before tonight's rubber match, we thought we'd take a look at some of the highlights of those previous two Granite State debates. In 2010, Carol Shea Porter was the incumbent and Frank Ginta was the challenger. She was playing defense on topics like the Affordable Care Act and the stimulus plan. The Democrats saved this country from going into a depression. I think it's critical that people remember that. We should have been cutting taxes, cutting spending, putting that money back into business owners' hands. Would you pledge today to vote against Nancy Pelosi for speaker? There you go again. You've been to Washington very frequently to pick up special interest money, and you've come back with the talking points. In 2012, it was Ginta who was saddled with even lower congressional approval ratings than Shea Porter in the previous cycle. They're locked in ideological cement. They don't listen to fact. They don't listen to science, and they simply don't want to find a way to to compromise. People are frustrated with the debt and deficit. People are frustrated with. Uh, the lack of growth in our economy. We had 43 consecutive months of 8% or higher unemployment. This time, both were clawing for the middle ground. Well, I'm the moderate here. She voted with, and these were her words, she voted with Nancy Pelosi 98% of the time. I don't think you sit with the Democrats very often, but I still have a lot of friends there, and that's not how they see this. We are, we are different. Uh, there is that old saying that familiarity breeds contempt. It definitely applies in this situation. If the past is any indicator of what's going to come tonight, these two candidates will be throwing haymakers from minute one.